the biggest secret in Game of Thrones was the true identity of Jon Snow. An illegitimate son of Ned Stark, who ended up being perhaps one of the most important Targaryen in history. Aegon Targaryen, the true heir to the Iron Throne. But how will this secret affect the new Game of Thrones sequel series? What would you think if I told you that in Game of Thrones, there is a character who possibly informed the Seven Kingdoms of Jon Snow's true identity before losing his life? The conflict that this will cause, we could see it in the Game of Thrones sequel. In this video we will be analyzing the big secret. Aegon Targaryen And if you want to participate in our Fonka Pops giveaway, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and tell us what was your favorite moment of the House of the Dragon. The winner will be announced on November 20th. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. The story of the last Aegon Targaryen, better known as Jon Snow, begins long before his own birth during the time of the Mad King. When we met Jon, he was just a child, who was not accepted by his own family for being the illegitimate son of Lord Ned Stark. Jon's life, although quite sad, was not as bad as the rest of the other illegitimate children in the kingdom. John has had a privileged life, close to his brothers and his father. However, this was a facade. Jon Snow is the legitimate son of Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen. A relationship between the House of the Dragon and the House of the Direwolf. Rhaegar Targaryen was the prince and heir to the Iron Throne, Daenerys Targaryen's eldest brother. He had been accused of having kidnapped Lyanna, the love of Robert Baratheon's life. During the war known as Robert's Rebellion, Lyanna actually escaped with Rhaegar and married him. While the Starks marched to King's Landing to bring down the Mad King, the heir prince took vows with one of the daughters from the enemy's house. Two lovers from opposite sides in the middle of a war, and because of this relationship, Lyanna became pregnant. Rhaegar has a confrontation with Robert Baratheon in battle, and loses his life. When Ned is finally reunited with his sister, she has just given birth to her son, Aegon Targaryen. Ned realizes that his sister had not actually been kidnapped, but had escaped with one of the enemy. Lyanna asks Ned to watch over Jon, and to keep the secret of his identity. It is here where Ned is faced with the most difficult decision of his life. This man had been considered one of the most honorable men in all of Westeros. Yet he returned to Winterfell with a supposed illegitimate child. Ned had to do this, or else the new king, Robert, would end the boy's life. Robert would never believe the story that Rhaegar married Lyanna, or that the two loved each other. He would think that this child was simply the result of that abduction. But although King Robert loved Lyanna and hated Rhaegar, there was another reason for the disappearance of the Targaryen prince, which was that Robert was now king of the Seven Kingdoms and Rhaegar's son is the rightful heir to the throne. Ned took to his grave this great secret, and preferred to allow Jon to join the Night's Watch to save his life. This is a secret that could cost the life of anyone who knows it. The last time Ned saw Jon, he told him the next time he saw him, he would tell him about his mother. This promise could not be kept, as he subsequently lost his life when he was charged with treason at King's Landing. But what would you think if I told you that he actually kept his promise? In episode 10 of the first season of Game of Thrones, after Ned lost his life, his son Rickon went down to the tombs at Winterfell, because he had dreamed that his father was in that place. What are you doing down here? I came to see father. He was down here. I saw him. Come back up with us. No! How many times have I told you he's in King's Landing with Sansa and Arya? I saw him. Last night. When I was sleeping. According to the Stark tradition, the body of their deceased are buried in these crypts. The fact that Rickon dreamed this symbolizes that the soul of Stark was in this place. Back to his home. Remember this scene as it will be important hereafter. When Jon learns that his name is really Aegon Targaryen, he mentions how Ned was the most honest person he had ever known, 
and does not believe that he lied to him. But as he says these words, the statue of Ned's tomb is standing next to them. Ned told him that the next time he saw John, John would understand many things. Although Ned was not alive, his statue or what symbolized his soul was present. It is no coincidence that Rickon had sensed his father in the tombs, and then John learned his mother's secret in the same place. Now, once the secret was revealed and reached the ears of Sansa, Tyrion and Varys, it was a matter of time before an attempt was made to take Daenerys down. Perhaps the mother of Dragon's advisors saw in her too great of a risk, and preferred John as king. Besides this, the most important thing for the noble families is the line of succession. Once they learn that John is the rightful heir, they claim that he is the king. The fact that Daenerys was the queen would be incompatible with the values of these noble families, and they would despise the crown. This is the reason why Daenerys asks John to keep this secret. It is a secret that could cost her own life. However, Sansa disliked Daenerys, because she didn't think she would make a good queen. So she revealed Jon's identity to Tyrion. Tyrion, what if there's someone else? Someone better. Although Sansa had promised Jon that she would not say anything, this caused Tyrion to plot against the Mother of Dragons, so that Jon would become king. All of it because Robert Baratheon loved someone who didn't love him back. How many others know? Eight. And well, then it's not a secret anymore. All this trail of secrets and lies led Jon Snow and Daenerys to Dragonstone as they prepared to attack King's Landing. However, Tyrion had spoken to Varys the Spider, a master spy and strategist. Perhaps one of the smartest people in the realm, and he revealed Jon's identity to him. Varys decided that Jon should be king and began a plan to bring down Daenerys. This is when we come to the important point in all of this. Daenerys takes Varys' life, because Varys not only knows Jon's secret, but he was hinting to her that it is he, who should be king. For Varys, the line of succession must be respected, and Daenerys would not be a better leader than Aegon Targaryen, i.e. Jon Snow. Daenerys tells Jon that Sansa revealed the secret to Tyrion, because she is trying to cause a conflict. This is victory for her. What did I say would happen if you told your sister? I don't want it, and that's what I told him. Now she knows what happens when people hear the truth about you. Daenerys knows the power that this secret has, and that is why she sentences Varys to death. Sentence you to die. Tracaris. It is a secret that whoever possesses it, can lose his life. It is now that we understand why Ned kept silent, and why he preferred that his wife Kat knew nothing. But then who revealed to the Seven Kingdoms the true identity of Jon Snow? Now that we know Jon's story will continue in a sequel, we can start looking for the clues we were left with at the end of Game of Thrones. Before Varys was arrested, we saw him writing a letter and then burning it. Varys does this, because he knew the Unsullied were coming to arrest him. We can even see when he starts to take off his rings, before they knock on his door. But what was Varys writing on his paper? At the beginning of this episode, we can see when the Unsullied went to find Varys, he was writing a letter. We can see part of the letter goes as follows. She's not the only Targaryen left. Rhaegar and Lyanna. Her son is still alive, hidden by Ned Stark. He is the true heir to the Iron Throne. Él es el verdadero heredero del trono de hierro. This means, Varys was writing letters revealing this great secret. But to whom Varys sent this message? At the beginning of this episode, we see Varys writing a letter, and then, just before he is arrested, we see him continuing to write. The fact that on the second occasion the girl was gone, it is understood that these are different letters. 
Although Varus burned one of them, he was possibly sending letters with ravens throughout the day. Varus knew he would lose his life if John did not accept his place as king. This is where we get into the Jon Snow series. Few people know that Jon is Aegon Targaryen, but this could easily change. The ravens could be transporting letters written by Varys to the Seven Kingdoms, with the message revealing Jon's true identity. This could cause a rebellion. Revealing this secret could be the trigger for a great war in Westeros. Perhaps the kingdoms will be divided once again, and it will be Jon Snow who takes his place as Aegon Targaryen, and who can unite the Seven Kingdoms again. Before he died, Varys mentioned that he hoped he was wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I deserve this. Truly, I do. I don't think Varys would have been defeated so easily. I think we will see the effects of the letters sent by the spider in the Game of Thrones sequel. Tell me, what do you think about this? Do you think that what will start the sequel to Game of Thrones will be Varys' letters arriving to the Seven Kingdoms revealing that Jon is the heir to the throne? Do you think it would be a way to start a war? And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on the Three-Eyed Raven.